Go ahead and delete your Facebook. Just know that Instagram is collecting your data in very similar ways. Most people don't know or just forget that Facebook owns Instagram. So that means Instagram uses the exact same technology to harvest your data and help advertisers hyper-target you with eerily specific ads. Essentially, they're one and the same. Following the Cambridge Analytica scandal, people have been quick to delete their Facebook. Even big companies and celebrities like Tesla, SpaceX, Wolf Farrow, and Cher. But deleting your Facebook on its own does very little to protect your data. There are plenty of other platforms in which marketers and advertisers can collect your data and target you. If you're on Instagram, advertisers will get as much data from you as they did on Facebook. Advertisers have to go through Facebook's ad manager in order to place ads on Instagram. And the ads you see are all based on your activity on both Facebook and Instagram. So advertisers can choose to target you on Instagram based on your Facebook activity and vice versa. And they'll use everything you tap or click on to their advantage. Every like, every follow, every stalking session on your ex. You might be thinking of loopholes by now, but sorry, there are none. If you created your Instagram independently from your Facebook, you're being targeted. If your account is private, you're still being targeted. If you have multiple accounts and think it'll confuse the algorithm, no, it's smarter than that. You're still being targeted. Things get sketchier though. You're not only being tracked within the Instagram platform. Advertisers can fetch information from your everyday queries. And no, I'm not talking about the rumor that the Instagram app is hijacking your smartphone mic and eavesdropping on your conversations. Instagram and Facebook are capable of tracking things you like based on your browsing activity. Facebook created an analytics tool called Facebook Pixel, which is a piece of code that websites outside of Facebook use to track visitors while they browse. That data is then gathered by Facebook and used to advertise to users later in their social feeds. Of course, you can avoid that by either searching on an incognito window or logging out of your account and deleting all of your cookies. There are also browser extensions like Firefox Facebook Container that block Facebook from tracking you by automatically deleting your cookies and logging you out of the social network. Are you thinking of deleting Instagram now? That's your prerogative. Some might be okay with ad targeting and think of it as convenient, as long as they're being sold things they'd actually buy. But if you're so bothered by advertisers and third parties having access to all of your interests, go ahead and delete it. Just make sure to save all of your photos first. But even if you decide to become a Luddite and delete both of your Facebook and Instagram accounts, you will still be sharing your information on other platforms. Snapchat, for example, is reportedly working on a similar data sharing algorithm that tells third parties what you like so they can personalize their services. Google also collects some of your data. Regardless of what you decide to do, it's safe to say that if you're putting any information online, someone has access to it. There's no real way out of this. Well, unless you stop using modern technology altogether and move to a deserted island, no one will track you there.